Fuck is it? Hello? Hello? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, all right, what's your name, baby? Becky. Becky, Be Becky with the good hair? You the one that was fucking Jay-Z. I'm not gonna do that this time. You know, because the beehive I've been looking for Becky. We, we ready to whoop Becky ass if we ever find Becky. You not that Becky, right? Say it again. Not... Let me close this door, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right. Becky, where are you calling us from, boo? I'm calling from Raleigh, North Carolina. From where? Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, get situated, mama. Because I'm trying to find a better lighting for you. Yeah, you want the light? All right, go to the bathroom if you yeah. can. All right, there we go. All right, so Raleigh, North Carolina, how old are you? 23. 23. What you you live by yourself? No, I'm I'm at my friend's house right now. Okay. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Stylist and a makeup artist. You have any kids? No kids. I just got my dog. Okay, what's the zodiac sign? Gemini. Gemini. So this is Becky Riley, North Carolina, 23 Gemini. Hairstylist, makeup artist, no kids. I right, boo. Kind of made you look for? Um, I guess somebody that I could be friends with first, for real, and like not be rushing things or anything like that. Um, bro, what you in here doing? Come on, bro, stop Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? She looking for? She looking for a man? Who's that? <laughs> That's awkward. It was a guy voice. I know. It's the same dude for last time being funny. I don't remember. No. He was here before. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, refresh my memory. He was on or you was on? Me. And I was laughing the whole time and you was like, come on, you gotta get situated. Uh, okay, so give me the backstory of him. He's your friend? I don't wanna talk about him. I got some questions. Uh, we just heard a man in the background. Okay, that's I'm gonna go right to it. Right. You have I sex him. with him? You did? So you at his house? A man you once had sex with in the bathroom on the phone on my show looking for another man to have sex with? Say, I never said, I, I said be friends you know, with her. the man you find on my show? You, this ain't the knit net patty wag, get a dog bone show. We ain't playing hot scotch on this bitch. We ain't playing. I mean, at the end of the day, if you find a man, that's what's going to lead to. So the whole T is, before I even got up here, I was like, if she picks me, do something funny or whatever. I was like, So if you're looking for somebody we can proceed forward, but you don't call me to play games. So what you want to do? I said it would have been funny if he would have did that. He really did it. So I was joking, but he really did it. So are y'all still having sex? No. Because no. he's like one of my best friends. I bring my dog over here. Like we just be chilling, watching movies. Like we just be chilling. We go out all the time. Like what we doing? We just friends. He's been my friend for like 10 years now. Okay. It's been over like 10 years plus. Okay, you're 23, so y'all teenager friend. Yep. So this is Becky Ryan. So hold on, someone a second is being dramatic. I'm not being, I, let me tell you something. This is y'all life and I have to respect it, but sometimes I really am blown away because essentially you are at a man's house that you once have been intimate with mm -hmm. and you're on the phone in the bathroom looking for a new man. I think you that's never, not kind of crazy. I mean, you never been close with nobody like that no. before? No, I ain't never been at no man's house that I once dated and was looking for another man while I was at his house. But he's just my friend. He's not like my boyfriend now like that. But he know your vagina. We don't. Huh? He know your vagina. Probably not know it, but, but used to, yeah. Let's, let's, let's go that don't matter to me though. That we just friends. So you think that it would matter to another guy? No, it shouldn't. And if it, and if it does, then you can go somewhere else for him. Because, okay. I mean, I mean, I would, if I was, like, really in a relationship with somebody, like, in a relationship, I mean, I wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't be, I mean, I'm, I've been single for, like, a year now, so, yeah. So, just, just, uh, we're going to proceed, but I want to just get your take on this. If you saw a guy on my show that was at a girl's house that he once slept with, but now looking for a new girl, you would be fine with that? 
it was before me, so why would I care? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so let's get to it, Becky. What kind of man are you looking for now, boo? Um, probably somebody that's willing to be friends first, once again, and willing to go through that getting to know each other stage or whatever. And then um, somebody that's like, you know, um, understanding or whatever, because I'm like, real sensitive, emotional, whatever. So somebody that's more understanding, somebody that's on the sensitive side, maybe, or somebody that's like more romantic side, I'm real affectionate. So like things like that or whatever. So somebody that's not so like nonchalant or just whatever type of person. Yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breaker is like probably like, I think I said it before, but somebody that's like all the way like ratchet or whatever, like don't care about how their decency is, whatever, in public, or just somebody that's like, um, I don't know, I guess just somebody that's just not like, um, has a bad demeanor, I guess. What's the age range you would date? You're 23. Yeah, so I would say probably like 20, 22 to maybe like 29, 30 probably. 22 to 29, okay. Um, this is Becky right of Carolina, 23, Gemini. She's a stylist, makeup artist, no kids. So we got to look a certain way. I mean, I guess, um, like, I like buff dudes or whatever. Like, somebody that be in a gym. They don't got to be in gym, I guess. Like, looking good or whatever. Healthy, I guess. Um, you want to want a healthy man? Yeah, somebody that's healthy, yeah. Okay. Do you have an ethnicity preference? Um, no. No. Um, I mean, I really just don't. Honestly, no, yeah, I don't got no preference for real. Do we gotta make a certain amount of money? Um, um, at least be able to take care of himself, like at least make more than me, type. Okay, make, make more than you, and what's the minimum of that? Yeah, um, probably like, maybe like 20 to 30K a year, maybe. Okay, make at least, so make at least 20K a year, bare minimum. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam, Becky. I got on pajamas right now. All right, well, you call me knowing you had on pajamas. I know, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Okay. All right. So wait a minute, are you, sleep are you sleeping over his house? Yeah. Girl. Okay, Becky, I got Can't you. Can't what is going on? No, 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 Becky, Becky. So you right now are sleeping over the you Okay, so you guys don't have sex anymore? No, we don't. Do, we why just you, like his do sister. Have, do you have, why are you sleeping over? Do you not have anywhere to stay right now? No, I got my own house. <laughs> so, so why are you sleeping over a guy's house that you want you to sleep with? Because I don't got no friends, and he's like one of my only friends besides my other homegirl, and I just left her house because her boyfriend's over there, and I just got down doing some hair, and I had nothing else to do, so I came over here. Right, but him. why sleep? I can, okay, even if we can understand the fact that you're at his house, and y'all are just friends. Tell me how it makes sense to sleep over. I mean, I don't really necessarily have to. I mean, you're in your pajamas, so you're going to sleep over. I know I'm saying I didn't have to stay over here, but I live far away. So if, whenever I did come over here, I was like, I might as well stay because I live farther away. Let me ask you this, Becky. This is just woman to woman. And I think, do you want a guy to take you serious or do you want a guy to just have fun with you? <laughs> I, I mean, you, you're you making me question if it's a big deal for what's going on right now. It's, it's, it really doesn't seem like a big deal. Well, let me say this. A, a, a guy that wants to just have fun with you, it won't be a big deal. A guy that's not going to take you serious, this will not be a big deal because it's an indication like, oh, you like to get down and have a good time. A guy that probably want somebody serious this is a huge red flag that you're sleeping over a guy's house you used to be intimate with it doesn't literally like i i, I listen i'm just i want to just talk to you because maybe you don't understand that's why i said what kind of man do you want to attract and i do think at times sometimes women do not understand why they are attracting a certain type of guy opposed to the guy that they really want to take them seriously a guy I'm telling you, you might not get hit up by a lot of men because it's like, oh, she likes to have fun. Okay, this is what I'm on because a lot of men are on that. But if a man was like, I really want to settle down with a girl, I'm not quite sure this might be a, a red flag for him. And I just want to kind of give you that insight so you can know. So you can stay friends with this guy if you want to, but if you really want a man for yourself, 
and build something for yourself, you got to maybe cut him off and let that type of guy enter. Yeah. I mean, he not nobody that I'm always over here every day. So, I mean, it's just once every while. He's just my friend. I don't really see the big deal. He will I mean, even get up here. I, <laughs> I, I really think I want to put you on the game. And I think what sometimes people don't realize is this. My, right now we almost have 5,000, but this will go viral. Like, right? you know, my show has a lot of different attention. And I'm, what I'm starting to learn is sometimes, and, I, and I'll use the word ignorant for myself at times, Ignorant doesn't mean dumb. Ignorant just means that you might not know. Right. So I think at 23, maybe you just are not aware. So we could, I mean, I just want to tell you the perception of what a guy that wanted something serious, how it will come across. That's all. But let me ask you this. What are three flaws you think you have to work on, Becky? Um, let's see. Uh, I probably got some anger issues a little bit. Probably like, cause I take things too deep than what it really is. So that's probably one, and maybe um, uh, flaws. I got. I mean, there's a lot of different things or whatever. It's common flaws that I feel. I can't really pinpoint right now, like everything. You can't. You, you can't name. You can't name your three flaws. I feel like I can name a lot for real. Okay, well then name two more. Four. All you gotta name is three. Okay, um, another t two more would be um, um, staying consistent or whatever um, and closing doors that that I could have had opened that were like good opportunities maybe because I was like just having a stronger guard up. Maybe, yeah. Okay, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you, honey? Um, because I'm a loyal person. I feel like um, I really love people really hard or whatever like I feel like I'm a down earth type of girl and I'm loyal I don't really like take people for granted or whatever I treat people how I want to be treated so and I feel like I want to be treated nice so or in a good way so yeah so listen always remember this is a rule of thumb people treat you the way you treat yourself right mm -hmm. so um I know for you it's not a big deal because this is your friend and it is what it is but I want you to <laughs> I'm no Becky. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here because, because you need to have people in your life to give you talk like this. Because obviously, people ain't giving you the real. Now, again, if you don't want nothing serious, then fine. Everything I say doesn't matter. But you say you want somebody to treat you nice. So to me, somebody treats you nice. You want someone to respect you. You want someone to to treat you the way that most women want to be treated. It gotta start with yourself first. And that's all I'm saying. But listen, if if that's Y'all be getting mad when I be trying to tell y'all shit. Y'all be like, oh, Kendra, I'm sorry. I'm going to let it go because it's your life at the end of the day. And every decision that you make is only going to affect you. It's not going to affect me. But I think if I have this moment, I would like to just share with you some insight. Take it or leave it. You don't got to take it. You don't got to keep it. So okay. what's the age range you want to date? Um, I think that we told the age range, uh, the age range already, the um, 22 to 29 or 30. Okay, that's my fault. I apologize. And um, do you want to be in Raleigh, North Carolina? No, um, I'm willing to travel or willing to have someone else travel, either or. It don't matter. It could be anywhere. From okay. Me. I'm just not out of the country. And could he have kids? Um, one at the most. One at the most. All right. All right, let's do it. Becky, Raleigh, North Carolina, 23, Gemini, hairstylist, makeup artist, no kids. How can the guy reach out to you, boo? Um, I have Facebook and Instagram. I got two Facebooks. I got Becky Beck, and I also got Madam Elizabeth. And Instagram, I got underscore precise parts. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you keep me posted cool. how it goes, honey. I will. Thank you, All Kendra. Right. You're welcome. And I wasn't trying to listen, sweetheart. I really was trying to tell you truth with love. I wasn't trying to bash you. That's not really my goal. But I wanted to give you some insight. And then again, you're 23. Oh, the frozen is for um the, the the screen is frozen. Someone said, someone said that I made her sad. I wasn't. It wasn't my goal to make her sad. That's it's really never the goal. I'm not trying to make y'all sad, but I do feel like sometimes, especially younger girls, I think, believe it or not, there's just the ignorance pool. Like we just they they just don't know, and sometimes you don't know that this is why you attract this person because of these certain things. So. 
Listen, she has no kids. She's not an ugly girl. You know, she's 23. Shit, I'm not the person who I am at. When I was 23, I was a different woman. I'm 44. So everything I'm saying is with life experience, trial and error. It is what it is. But there you have it.